Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from Hyenas in Dallas, Texas. For our brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony. And clap. Come on, Dallas. There's a lot of people listening to this. You can make more noise than that. Yeah. Look, everybody. Red Band's here. Hey. 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 Fuck, yeah. This seems like fucking fun. Crazy-ass Dallas again. We're back, guys. Again and again and again, we find ourselves coming to beautiful Texas. We're happy to be here. Just landed. We all feel good, refreshed. So let's just fucking keep this thing moving, shall we? You guys excited to be here tonight? You all know what the fuck's happening. Clearly. It's an exciting time to be in Dallas. We love this place, and uh, fuck yeah, we have some real fucking tough guys out here. Look at this fucking guy. Oh, yeah. He's got his sunglasses on the back of his shirt like a oh, real yeah. Texan. Fucking. All right, whatever, man. Got some real fucking stoned motherfuckers in the audience. This is goddamn. Everybody has a little infinite CBD in them around uh, oh, yeah. here. You know what I'm saying? It seems like a happy, relaxed group of people. Not a lot of depression or anxiety or anything like that. And we've been using it ourselves. I just gave it to uh, my man from um, Portugal. Yeah, the guy? Man. Yeah. Oh. What's his name? Um, oh, my God. Fuck. Just gave it to my buddy from Portugal the Man, and uh, it's helping him with his back. It helps a lot of people. We love Infinite CBD. I don't know if you guys know this, but they offer the cleanest, healthiest, and purest forms of CBD available. It's grown organically in Colorado, and it tests at over 99% CBD. Research shows treats a lot of the things that we've always suffered with, right? Insomnia, anxiety, depression. And with back to school season, we wanted to make some recommendations for our listeners going back to school. Yeah. Do you know they have CBD lube? Like, if you're using lube with your lady, why not put some CBD in it? Why not, right? <laughs> It'll make you relax. She'll relax. They have detox shots. So, like, the next day when you're all hungover, you take some CBD detox shots. And it helps with, has, like, ginger and beef, beetroot in it. And it's formulated with milk thistle. That's good for your liver. Yeah. Yeah, and beef root. Beef fruit. <laughs> I like the CBD AM p- pills. They, uh, they keep me from drinking too much coffee, and uh, it's a healthy alternative. Go to infinitecbd.com, and use the, if you use the promo code TONY15, you get 15% off. How about that? There you go. That's done. No more of those. <laughs> that was beetroot, by the way. I like to say beef root. <laughs> you know? When in Dallas, a place where there's a lot of... Look, that, that's this guy's middle name. Fucking Jacob B. Fruit fucking Jenkins over here. The turnaround thing only w- doesn't w- even work once. <laughs> you guys can't even see what's going on. But uh, let's just keep this fun train moving along. As with all of our road episodes, we're going guestless tonight. However, we do have a band. And the band is with us. You know him, you love him. You know I love him. They're one of my favorite things in all of comedy. Every episode, instead of being a typical band, they dress up like characters. Sometimes it's a brand new character we've never seen before. Sometimes it's the return of some of the amazing characters that we have seen before. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the best damn band in the land. It's the Kill Tony Band. Jeremiah Watkins and Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. Oh, I'm telling you, I recognize that music. I know what that music could be. Oh, yes. Oh, we have seen these guys before. Wow. Billionaires. Wow. They have gigantic wads of cash. 
They are some of the most famous characters in Kill Tony history. We have not seen them in a long time. These are definitely the billionaires. Am I correct? <laughs> yes, you imbecile. I, I, is, your pipe, is your pipe stuck to your mustache, billionaire? <laughs> the adhesive got onto your little pipette. Oh, have to fire the immigrant that cut my hair. <laughs> remind me of a uh, remind oh, me. Oh, my cell phone's going off. Yes, mother, the loan will transfer soon. Wow, billionaire! Remind me, what what is your name? Reginald Fontaine the third. Wow, that is that's a lot. And then quick. Uh, <laughs> 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 and then very clearly we have over here uh, Sonic the Hedgehog's Mexican <laughs> grandfather. Um, this is <laughs> very impressive. I've never seen such a brown man with such light features. <laughs> Hair almost seems like your mustache is <laughs> white cotton. You make it up when he can transition into a white man, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> the name's Timothy Bergington. Uh, hey, hey. Timothy Bergington. Man, you could tell that is a made-up white name. <laughs> Bergington. They don't really, there's no like, those are, that's two types of white that you're mixing together there. Berg is normally Jewish and... You all look the same to me. Wow, all right. I like it. So we have billionaires, we have Brian Soundboard, and uh, which brings us to this, ladies and gentlemen. It's the one and only Dallas' own. This is, uh, this is... This is not an urn holding the ashes of an oil tycoon. No, a bunch of comedians signed up before the show to get the chance to come on to this stage and try or do stand-up comedy for 60 seconds and then get interviewed by me and these great, great uh, billionaires that you have up here. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitten? That, oh, you could barely hear that kitten. Come on. All right, there you go. Red band, no reason at all. Uh, wrap it up then, or else you're going to bring out the angry Oak Lawn Bear. <laughs> you guys ready to start this fucking show or what? Wow. I see some celebrities in the audience here. Look at this. Stand up and wave to these people. You guys remember this creepy motherfucker? Frightening, frightening human being. Let's see what happens here tonight. I'm going to say this. This is uh, strangely one thing I noticed is that our ratio of audience to sign-ups is very low for Dallas. Not a lot of people signed up tonight. So I'm thinking we might see some familiar faces here uh, tonight since I recognize about as many names that are in the bucket. <laughs> Put your hands together for Zach Rippy. Zach Rippy, getting the party started. Here we fucking go, Dallas. The show begins now. Here he is, your first comedian of the night, Zach Rippey, everyone. Come on, give him a hand. So I went to a Blank-182 concert a couple months ago, and uh, I noticed I was singing along every song word for word. And then the next day I went to church, and I know all the words at that at church as well. And I was like asking my wife, I was like, why am I embarrassed to sing at church, but I'm not embarrassed to sing at Blank-182? She's like, probably because you're not drunk as shit at church. <laughs> then I was like, all right, I'm going to start treating church a little differently. I'm going to bring my coffee cup, kind of treat it like it's a Bud Light. You're a good, good father. <laughs> it's who you are. <laughs> all right, y'all don't really go to church because that shit would have hit super hard if y'all went to church. <laughs> and you know those people that like to sing and get really animated and put their hands up and stuff and praise? Well, my wife is one of those people and I'm not. And she just makes me look terrible when I'm just standing there like I'm waiting for the DNA results on Jerry Springer. <laughs> and I don't really like the usher when they come down the aisle with that offering plate. I'm kind of broke, so I, I treat him like a homeless dude in downtown Dallas. Sorry, brother, no cash on me today. <laughs> I got you next week, though, all right? All right, God bless. Stay dry. There you go. <laughs> 
Zach Rippy, everyone, getting the party started. How's it going, Zach? It's going great. It's great to be here. How long have you been doing stand-up for? Uh, about two and a half years now. Two and a half years. Yeah. Awesome. And is that true? Did you really go to a Blink-182 concert? Yeah, I thought everyone was going to say woo when I said it, but I guess not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why would you think everybody would go woo when you said that? <laughs> Because they're like the 90s Beatles, y'all. Like, come on, get with it. What the fuck what did are you, you talking say? about? <laughs> the 90s Beatles? Oh, my God, dude. No, no, just me. You uh, talked about church. That was the most sacrilegious thing you've said up here. <laughs> it's incredible to me that you would even speak such a monstrosity. H- who's your second favorite? Nickelback? Like, what else, <laughs> what else is in your CD player right now? Limp Bizkit was the 90s Rolling Stones. (laughs) (laughs) Who else do you like? What other live shows have you seen lately? Uh, I saw Rick Ross on Sunday at uh, House of Blues. Oh, wow. Oh, woo for that. All right, cool. Yeah. The the real one or the fake one? Oh, the... Well, the one, only one does music, Brian, so uh, that'd be pretty crazy if he paid for a ticket to go see a former crack dealer that just <laughs> does nothing but whine about how there's a more famous Rick it, Ross It could have been a now. book Facts. signing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rick Ross writing a lot of books. It'll be an event when he reads a book. Oh. Oh, <laughs> he didn't even uh, you can't even joke about... Okay. About former people that spend most of their life in prison not being able to read. Okay. God damn it. So, uh, Zach, what do you do for work? Uh, I'm a part-time waiter, and uh, I do stand-up five nights a week, hitting those mics, you know? What do you mean a part-time waiter? What does that mean? Uh, I work less than 22 hours, so I don't qualify for insurance. Fuck them. Wow. (laughs) My goodness. How long have you been waiting tables for? Uh, Since uh, my son was born, when I was 19, so I'm 26 now, seven years. Wow, that's how you do the math when you have a son at 19? (laughs) Pretty much, yeah. (laughs) You're surviving, dude. That's how you do the math. You still with the baby mama? Uh, no. Yeah. No. yeah. Uh, what happened? Was it like a one night uh, hookup? No. We, we he were... called Blink the Beatles of the nineties. <laughs> <laughs> we were uh, we were together for four years, and then uh, we split up, and then she joined the military, and then uh, she met a girl, and then now they're married. Oh yeah. shit. My Dude. son has three moms. It's no bigs. Damn. Do you regret not eating better pussy back in the day? Because uh, clearly, I, mean, I like to only think one I was thing. highly qualified. So I think the that lesbian that's... in the front loved that joke. Do you see that? No, I'm, kidding. I'm just kidding. In the car, I just can't wait. Can't believe my ex-wife is gay. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. I'm like, will you hold my hand? She's like, I don't like man. <laughs> this is the Beatles of the 90s. Though, <laughs> dude, right John Lennon right here, dude. Heck yeah. So she went to the military, and let's face it. I mean, some chick ate your baby mama's <laughs> pussy. What was the first? How did you find out about this? Like, uh, Well, she, she dated somebody else earlier in, the re- in her... <laughs> Drop down and eat me, pussy. <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, all right. What branch of the military was she in? Uh, she's Air Force. I mean, I know what branch she ended up on, but uh, what'd she start with? Uh, Air Force and her wife now was Army. Heck yeah. She got her Red Wings after yeah. all. Uh, Air Force. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. <laughs> all right. So, how did she tell you? Did she call you from an overseas call? No, she, uh, she had a girl that she was kind of, I guess, talking to, and she put up a picture on Instagram that said, will you be my girlfriend while she went down a roller coaster? And then it kind of solidified that she's dating somebody that's a woman now. She posted a picture of her holding a sign that said, will you be my girlfriend while Go- going down, down a roller coaster. That's gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. It's, it's incredible. And, and you were like, Where are you? I am so sorry. I cannot eat. I cannot sleep tonight. I need somebody in always. You're so gay now. I cannot eat. I cannot sleep tonight. 
Oh, my. Don't waste your time okay, on right. me. You're gay, and I'll never find love again. I miss you. Did you teach her a lesson? Did you, did you teach her a lesson when all this happened? Did you go start fucking dudes like a real gentleman? <laughs> What was your what was your answer to all this? I didn't have a lot of hate in my heart, man. I go to church, man. I was just like, whatever makes you happy. Oh, there you God, go. You so know? you fucked a little boy. Now I get it. Uh, that's what you do. Michael J- Michael Jackson was the Sandusky of the '90s. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, baby. It has begun. Wow, billionaire Berg. Oh, I get it. That's why you're Berging. <laughs> As you could tell, I brought weed from California with me here today. You can now fly out of LAX with up to an ounce. A little fun fact. You can fly in and out of LAX with up to an ounce of pot. It's a little fun fact for you all to know. It's more and fun flying out, if you're wondering. I wouldn't fly in because that means you'd have to leave Texas. Yeah. Okay, forget You're just not allowed to land. <laughs> and you can fly with nine ounces of gold before you can claim it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, Zach, anything else crazy we need to know about you? I mean, this is insane. I love your little fucking story. You're a really good interview. Yeah, thank you, man. I, know I just had a baby eight weeks ago. <laughs> oh, another baby. Yeah. Oh, with my shit. Wife, with my wife, yeah. Dude, if I was you, I would be there eating her pussy right now before she <laughs> leaves you. We know what happens. A few months after you have these babies, you're like, oh, I'm going to give that a little while to heal up, and some other woman will bust those stitches you know what i'm saying she will go in there that's what these lesbians do they untie stitches with their fucking tongues they're unstoppable am i right you know absolutely she was natural birth too (laughs) (laughs) i love this this lady by the way the lady i keep calling a lesbian has a massive smiling husband behind her and i would just like to say that i appreciate you sir you have a great sense of humor uh, Zach, anything else crazy? Any other fun facts or hobbies before I let you go? Nah, man. That's about it. Just just trying to survive out here, you know, trying to make it in this stand-up game and love, love everybody. Do you have any here, local man. gigs coming up soon or anything like uh, that? Yeah, I'm doing a Dallas Comedy House tomorrow night and then uh, back to... Hey, wait, wait, wait. I got oh, shows oh, tomorrow oh, night, oh, pal. Oh, you're, not gonna, oh, sorry. Yeah. you're not going up against me, bro. <laughs> you got to pick another weekend if we're talking about Dallas. I got, I got two Hyena stand-up right, comedy Randy? shows here tomorrow. Two more on Saturday. The whole Kill Tony group doing spots beforehand. And, uh, and also, we added another Kill Tony show this Saturday at 4.30. A little fun fact for you, if you don't know. Oh, yeah. This Saturday, 4.30, here. Um, because this one's sold out. We want to let you know that we appreciate you and love you so much, Dallas. It's incredible. <laughs> so, Zach... Uh, the I- amazing story. Your wife Amen. leaving you, letting you know by basically Instagram. I mean, going down on a roller coaster as if she's not going down on enough things. Uh, <laughs> just mind-boggling to me that that's how. From you being strapped t- strapped into having a strap on. All right, <laughs> I fumbled it. You got what I meant. <laughs> it happens. Put your hands together for your first comedian of the night, Zach Rippy. Everybody, <laughs> giving us a good, honest story. He knows what's interesting about him. There's two stairways here, people. It's not the craziest thing if you're literally sitting in that section to come this way. But if you can, if you're coming from anywhere out there, try to come down this middle aisle way or this one. There's a little more cords over here. All right. You guys having fun out there? We're just getting started. We are only just beginning here. Let's see what the fuck is going to happen next? Put your hands together for Nikki. It's Nikki with an exclamation point. Oh, we know Nikki. We've seen Nikki before. Come on, everybody. One more time for Nikki. What's up, everybody? Where's my girls at? Yeah, pussy's overrated. I say that because I'm a bisexual man. Or other known as uh, half gay. 
But uh, yeah, no, I say that because I'm in a I'm in a gay relationship now. <laughs> Ladies, come on, <laughs> fellas. <laughs> Anyways, pussy's overrated. It's uh, it costs too much money, too much time. Y'all are tripping. We need equality. Those aren't jokes. I'm just telling you. We need equality. Mm. How you doing? Fuck yeah. Right before it right. goes into crowd work at exactly a minute. I'm going to stop you right there, Nikki. I don't want to know how that was. Which one of you did he ask? Oh, yeah, of course. Little fucking ball of charisma over here. Little fucking... All right, Nikki, let's talk about it. You are fucking gayer than everything. Uh, I like your style, though. And let me tell you this. There was something about your bisexual half-gay joke that I absolutely loved. I mean, it's on the nose, but the way you said it, like there was a moment there where you executed... You don't really... Do you do a lot of stand-up? No, man. I haven't done it actually since the last time I came on right here. To blow in crappy gay dudes. (laughs) Joe Rogan is uh, clearly calling in for the first time ever. Uh, that's interesting. We've never had that before. Joe, are you there? Blowing crafty gay dudes. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> He's never done this before in the history of the show. That's incredible. J- Joe, Joe, is, are you a fan of Nikki? You know, like, what, what did you do? You used to have sex with guys? Hey, listen, you know, I tried it for a little while because I was just okay. Okay, so you know, stop. Stop this. Stop this. This is like the only thing we can do to get canceled. <laughs> wow, that was so random. Uh, we cannot play clips of Joe Rogan. For a second, I thought it was brilliant, and then I'm like, okie dokie. Did you hear that Joe Rogan openly came out as gay on the Kill Tony podcast? He waited for Dallas to tell people. I was just open-minded, and uh, I just realized I was lying to myself. It wasn't my friend. No, stop it. <laughs> was good weed. <laughs> oh my god. Nikki. I, I, I can't believe it. You have the power. We've never had this in the history of the show. You have the power to summon Joe Rogan as a guest on this show. We've never even seen this before. We've been doing this show six Why do you think it is? Why do you think it is that Joe Rogan only appears on this show, unless he's been a guest a few times, but only appears seemingly without, like a god only well, actually, you. you know, the first time I actually saw the podcast in real life was at the Comedy Store, your fifth anniversary, and Joe Rogan was there. Maybe. Maybe. Wow. Hey. Like, <laughs> what is this? What special is this from? This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Shiny Jihad. Oh, my God. I did the album cover. Oh, <laughs> my God. So, Nikki, uh, remind us, what do you do for work? You, uh, you look like you were born in a Petri dish in Beverly Hills. Uh, I think all these people are interested to know. No, I, uh, I actually come from upstate New York. Single mom, 800 square foot, two bed, one bath home. Wow. Um, why, why the two? They're just out of curiosity. No, I'm just clarifying that because you're kind of profiling me, you know, but... Anyways, how does no. it feel? I profiled you as someone born and raised in Beverly Hills, and you're offended by that. Yeah, dude. Is this the fucking yeah. world we live in yeah. now? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so let's check in with my billionaire friend there, uh, the one, the only Reginald uh, Fontaine the Third. <laughs> Can I just say, pussy is not overrated when you have all the money in the world. That's a good point. Wow. Yeah. What was That's the one? when it's not. What do you What do you like to spend? What do you like to have women do for money, uh, Reginald? Oh, poop on my toenails. <laughs> <laughs> poop on your toenails. What a specific thing that is. It costs so much money. <laughs> oh my God. I bet here in Dallas you could probably find a good girl to poop on your toenails for a nominal rate. Whoa. 
Oh, there's one fucking chick who's always wanted to poop on a guy's toenails over here. Damn. Wow. Is it you? Are you the one that wants to... All right, forget it. Uh, we got a we got a wild one over. If here. you can summon a poop, I will let you poop <laughs> on my toenails. If you can summon it, I will let it happen. All right, Reginald. So Nikki, uh, tell us more about you. Uh, you've been on this show a couple times. Uh, remind <clears throat> these people. And how long have you lived in Texas? Nine years. Nine years. Do you find it? Uh, you find it to be an interesting place to live as a bisexual male? Actually, yeah. In Dallas, it's you know pretty common. A lot of cowboys <laughs> spend a lot of your time. Not really, but yeah. I mean, <laughs> when you're not <laughs> when you're not at the comedy club, uh, <laughs> when you're not at, when you're not at the comedy club, are you usually at the buyers club? Anyway, uh, I guess I'm not going to get an answer to that one. I don't even know what the fuck that is. The Dallas Buyers Club? What is that? Educate me. I'm you, you've it. never heard of this? What is it? It's a... Uh, Tony is the president. How do you not know about this? <laughs> there you go. Very good. Thank you, Reginald. Very good. Uh, but actually, I am the president. It is a uh, club in which, uh, I don't know, it's a fucking movie, man. What are you talking about? It's a movie. It's a whole thing. It's about uh, AIDS medicine. <laughs> Next question, please. I think, you're, I, think, I think you're playing dumb with everybody. I, honestly, right God, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, forget yeah. it. You've never heard of a movie called Dallas Buyers Club? No, but I'll look it up after. You lived in Dallas for nine years. Yeah, man. No, 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 no. Four years. No, wait. Five years. Doesn't matter. Forget it's something it. like that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My God. What I do you did like? Fort to Worth. Do? Fort Worth for like All four good. years. What before. do you like to do for fun, Nikki? Uh, I like to spin. I like to spin on what? A bike. Throbbing cocks. <laughs> Throbbing cock for short. <laughs> what? <laughs> Joe. Ooh. Uh, um. No, spinning on an indoor cycling bike. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's what you call them. Um, yeah. So let's talk about bisexuality for a moment. Like, uh, what's your uh, guy to girl, girl to guy ratio? Like, how far do you lean? Uh, you, you sort of like, uh, you know, it's like uh, politics. Like, you agree with some policies. No, I mean, honestly, I'm more in love with the, the person, like the soul. You know. Wow, you are gay. <laughs> Got me there. <laughs> Reginald, Got me you're there. killing me tonight. <laughs> oh. No, but I mean, in a physicality sense, you know, it, it really doesn't matter for me. I like, I like cock. I like tits. I like, I like it all, but I like a beautiful person. And, you know, I'm in a committed relationship with a man. <laughs> that's Mario. So, I mean, you know. It How just, long you been with this guy? Nine months. Oh, that's cool. He must have a little bun in the oven or something like that. Nine months. A little cum in the yeah. oven. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at that. Little fucking, little fucking sticky honey bun, huh? <laughs> Something Whoa! like that. Something like that. I bet. A little cream filling. Whoa, Jesus. When you say oh, it. Oh, whoa. When you mind. say it, it's too fuck. much. Uh, wow. What, is it, what, do, what does he do? Uh, he actually owns the spin studio that I like to spin Whoa, at. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Answers the age-old question, spin or swallow? Oh, shit. How does this guy look like an 80s gay guy and also an 80s bully who bullies the gay guy at the same time? <laughs> Reginald Fontaine. Someone ate his pepperoni pizza before this show tonight. Somebody's bl <laughs> blood sugar is up. He's <laughs> <laughs> not going to lose a leg tonight. <laughs> oh, wow. So, uh, so that's cool. Did you meet him at spin class? Actually, I met him in Aspen at Gay Ski Week. Wow. I mean, you guys probably put the ass in Aspen. So uh, <laughs> it's incredible. Yeah. Did you say Gay Ski Week? Gay Ski Week. They have that, a whole that's week. That's a real thing? How, do, real how thing? do you tell where the snow starts and the cum ends? Oh, you just look. You just. <laughs> you look for the rainbow flags. Uh, it goes from cold to hot. Yeah. Ass 
Aspen Gay Ski Week. It's like, so that's when everybody in Aspen that lives there takes their own vacation. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Wow. What's the gayest thing you saw at Aspen Gay Ski Week? You see two guys butt fucking while skiing or anything like that? <laughs> Red band. There you go. That's that's your one fart noise. There you go. So what's the gayest thing you saw? We're so we're just interested. <laughs> the to gayest know. thing I saw was myself riding the gondola down the mountain. Riding a dog? Gondola down the mountain. <laughs> oh man, I thought you said dogula for a second. What like the some fuck type is of, a dogula? I, I didn't know, but I was picturing like a, a dog that sort of looks like a vampire. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you guys do. I didn't know Gay Ski Week was. Yeah, dude, you don't know about dog, you love, man. Fuck it. <laughs> All right, Nikki. All right. Well, uh, I like your style, man. You're a different type of different type of fucking character for sure. Uh, an outgoing uh, bisexual man that just lives right in the fucking I would say heart of Texas, but I think probably you're uh, right near the groin of Texas, right? <laughs> And uh, we love you on this show. It's always a fun interview. You're so. Uh, you different. guys are awesome. I love you guys coming to Dallas. And again, when you were when you were when you were when you sort of lost yourself there between twenty and thirty seconds uh, into your set, you you relaxed and you were funny for a bit. Yeah, man. So little, I didn't I didn't I didn't practice anything. I just kind of look. I get it, and that's oftentimes why some people do better than others. Is some people over practice. Some people practice just the right amount and then get in their fucking head. Some people feel like the crowd's against him some people this some people that point is that you did good for a second and what you shot out to do and it was a fun interview there he goes Fuck Nikki yeah. everybody thanks guys he's Nikki Dallas there he goes I almost wanted to say bye <laughs> Put your hands together for your next comedian, Matt McHillhoney. Here he is. Here's Matt. I uh, I just got my 23andMe results back, and it turns out I am 0.8% Nigerian, which uh, I wasn't expecting, but anyways, here goes my inward joke. Um... So my skateboarding friend came up to me recently and said, guess what, Matt? I just mastered the inward heel flip. I said, the inward heel flip, is that racist? He was like, no, what are you talking about? I said, well, let's back it up a second. What do the black skateboarders call it? He said, Matt, you fucking idiot. I mean inward, as in the opposite of outward. I was like, yeah, Jonathan, I know it's not outwardly racist. I'm just asking overall. Hell yeah. Matt McElhoney? Mac McElhoney? McElhone. McElnan. McElhone. It rhymes with tackle zone. That's what I said. <laughs> McElhone. McElhone. Yeah, perfect. Matt Mac McElhone. Hell yeah, man. Great set. Do you do only exclusively N-word jokes? Mostly, yeah. I like Since that. Since the 23andMe. No, I don't, of course. I like that. I love this comedian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, what, uh, you, you like uh, racial humor, Reginald? Uh, if it's uh, well-crafted, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Matt, how long have you been on stand-up? Two years at the end of this month. Two years. You've been on the show before? Uh, once in Houston. Yeah. Was that uh, fun? Yeah, it was a blast. Yeah, that's yeah. great. We love Houston here. You guys from Houston out there? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Big announcements coming right around the corner for Houston. So congratulations to you. Um, and uh, so, Matt, let's talk about it. Two years in the game. What do you do for work? Uh, lift, and I get disability money from uh, the Army. Yeah, that's right. I forgot that. <laughs> I hate this comedian. <laughs> Disability from the army, you said? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. What did you do? Oh, wait a second. Are you the lesbian that turned the guy's wife to the... Uh... Uh, sorry, Zach. My bad. Wow. Uh, what did you do in the army? Uh, I was an air traffic controller, but in Afghanistan, I was a uh, C2 operator on the back of Blackhawks. I, like, programmed radios. Wow. 
I'm pretty sure the last comedian liked black cocks as well. <laughs> <laughs> so that seems like a fucking shady ass job. ATC for in Afghanistan. You're just standing yeah. out in the middle of the desert fucking having to move and Well that's the God thing God only is, knows I mean everybody sorry. wants to attack an airbase more than anything, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I, we didn't do air traffic control over there. Everyone got tasked out to do different stuff. Basically, uh, civilians do air traffic control in Afghanistan. Right. So. They have to put their own kind out there. Yeah. If, someone's, <laughs> if, someone, if anyone's getting blown up, it's going to be fucking... <laughs> anyway. Uh... <laughs> wow. How long were you overseas? Uh, I was there for a year, and then I was in Korea for two and a half years. Ooh, Korea just for fun, huh? Yeah. I mean, it was fun. <laughs> really? What would you do over in Korea? What did you like about it? A lot of drinking. We got really into the culture, too, though. I learned how to read Korean and shit, so... Ah. Yeah. A lot of sake. Yeah. Well, it's not sake. It's soju, but yeah. Oh. Soju. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me, we had Ari Shafir pop in on uh, last Monday. So Reminds me of a lot of my business partners. <laughs> Sergio! <laughs> you get it because I'm filthy rich. What else did you do for fun in Korea? I mean, I, I play pool. They have weird pool tables over there, so, you know. What are you doing? That. <laughs> are they slanted or what's wrong with them? <laughs> <laughs> Real question? Uh, <laughs> They actually are slanted. The pockets are slanted outwards. So. Not inward. Did <laughs> 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 you, uh, you hook up with any Korean ladies when you were out there? No, I was married at the time, so oh. she came with me. Oh, oh yeah. wow. You brought your wife with you to yeah. Korea. Yeah, yeah. My goodness. Didn't work out for me in the long run. Why was that? Oh, I mean, she left, like, as soon as we got back. I guess she liked Korea, but not, you know, Denton, Did Texas. Did she go back to Korea? No, she didn't. No. Oh. Yeah. But she left you when you got back. Right. Yeah. How long were you guys together for? So, ten years all together, seven years of marriage. Wow. Yeah. Any kids? No. Oh, that's good. Yeah. She just had a kid last week, actually. Oh, wow. And we're still technically married, like... Yeah, uh, I have to go to an adoption agency at 1 p.m. tomorrow. To Wait a second. Hold on one second. Wait one <laughs> second. Let me do the math on something. I'm she, not even kidding. <laughs> she just had a kid last week. Uh, yeah, yeah. When the fuck did that first guy say that he had a kid? Didn't he just have one? Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of weird shit going on here. I'm finding out a lot about the army tonight. Wow. You're still married to this woman and you are having to adopt a kid for her? <laughs> so, all right, it's been three years since we separated and I never bothered to, like, make it official. She got pregnant and moved. She lives in Michigan now. And so I'm going to sign adoption paperwork because she's giving it up for adoption. I don't think she knows who the dad is. So. Whoa. Yeah. Wait a second, wait a second, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> Oh, my God. Wait a second. Very funny, because I just purchased a baby in Michigan. <laughs> wow, what are you going to end up doing with this guy's uh, ex-wife's uh, baby? Train it to be a monster like myself. <laughs> what a lucky boy. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's a lucky kid right there. Yeah, that's uh, that, the, the reality of the situation is the baby that you're giving up for adoption will never have it that good. <laughs> yeah, he'll be shitting on toes, oh, or she. <laughs> what else, Matt? What do you like to do for fun now that you're back home in Texas? I mean, I do a lot of comedy, play pool, play video games. Yeah, so. yeah, uh, huh, yeah. Two boring. years in comedy, huh? Wow, you sound like you would have made a great father. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think maybe you, you and your wife could get back together and raise this kid? Not interested. I'm a, I've been in a relationship for two years now, so... Okay. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Did My you go goodness. blacker? <laughs> no. I went whiter. Whiter? Yeah. Mm. Oh, more of a cue ball, man. I see. <laughs> 
All right. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm not really getting much out of you. Yeah, you're sorry. very funny, man. Your jokes were great. You have Thanks, uh, man. you have any like thing from your childhood or family wise that uh, makes you special at all? I mean, I got jokes about my dad not being around, but other than that, it's no, just like no, no, no. That's, yeah. all, that's not even the question that I asked. Oh, you okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you had a great set, man. Thanks right. for coming up. There he goes, Thank Matt McElhoney, McElhoney, McElhoney. From that. What a uh, really sad man. What's that? That guy is making me really sad. That last guy was yeah. making you sad? Oh. Wow. That's a, getting a little taste of your own medicine, huh? <laughs> Put your hands together for your next comedian. Goes by the name of Preston, everyone. Preston! Maybe Preston. I wish that you would step back, step back from that ledge, my friend. I wish that you would step back. Preston? Wow. Is this humanly possible? Somebody get fucking the coldest of feet? Maybe it's an M? Is there someone that's Preston? <laughs> Kreslam? It's, it's bad, my nephew bad. here, Preston. It's bad handwriting. But there you go. Nobody signed up with a one-word name like that? Interesting. Put your hands together for Steve Lee, everyone. Steve Lee. It's happening. Live. Kill Tony Dallas. He just went to the bathroom. Oh, there he is. Steve Lee, everybody. This is, ter- this is terrible. I'm not the Steve Lee from Las, Ve- or Los Angeles. The little crippled Chinese guy. All right. Well... Actually, I'm terrified, but not of you motherfuckers. I'm actually terrified of this fucking, this weed that's going around these days. My wife, she left town and left me with my fucking kids. So I took a shower, got out of the shower, butt naked, walking around, and instead of going in there checking on the fucking kids, I found a flashlight. <laughs> so butt naked, I decided, fuck it. Pull my nut sack out, put the flashlight underneath my nut sack, I was looking at the ceiling at some fucking crazy shit. But I looked down at my fucking nutsack, and that's where the crazy shit is, and it's in your fucking balls. Dude, shit was going around, and all of a sudden, my door opened up, and it's my fucking kids, and they're like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, dude, I'm looking for your brothers and sisters, dude. Wow, Steve Lee. Fuck yeah. Keep that microphone. Keep that thing. You After five years, I think I know how this works. But Fuck yeah. So you've been a fan of the show for a long time. Five years. Is that your first time doing stand-up comedy? First time being on stage in anything, y'all. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. So. I like your style, dude. I'm shaking like these other motherfuckers. I'm and like, you did really I'm good. Everything felt genuine and real. And Oh, that's real. Yeah. That's no, I, be- I believe it. That's real, man. I mean, the only thing I don't believe is my guess is that a guy like you puts a flashlight up to your ball sack. All you're seeing is a lot of pubes. <laughs> I don't really think you're really yeah. seeing your balls. Am I yeah, right? Unless... Man. unless the- Wow, hey. there's a lot of pubes. It's been confirmed by... Uh, hey. Fucking Who Megan McCain over here just hanging out, videotaping the show. <laughs> How are you? you? You realize you're both recording, right? And yes. that you could just uh, send yeah. each other you the know, video. Next week after work, I'll just show you this video, but it's all good. There you go. Only one of you needs to. Yeah. All right, forget it. It's okay. This will also be on YouTube in a few days. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, literally. That's, that's what I'm, it's all good. So How what big ten- is this bush you speak of? Whoa, some billionaire likes... Uh, <laughs> We know what he likes on his toenails. I think we're about to find out more. I'm an animal. Yeah, of course you are. Look at you. The carpet matches the drapes, as I always say. Uh, So tell us about you, Steve. What do you do? What tattoo shop do you own? Well, I wish. Actually, this was back in the day whenever I did homemade tattoos. You called me over. I come over and do it. Hell yeah. Now, had babies with this lady here. Put that microphone right up to that fucking cold sore umbrella you call facial Uh, hair. But no, I actually I work for her dad. I truck from about t- two o'clock, and then I'm a local pinstriper and painter, custom painter. 
God, you're like a real fucking dude. Yeah, man. This is what I'm talking about. I spotted you out right from the beginning. I'm yeah. like, that's a real fucking Texas guy. Yeah, and I can't look over my shoulder now because it's it don't work. Because there's a Mexican behind you. I actually you. tried to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, it's all good. Orderly, cabron. Orderly. It's me family. He's one of the good ones. He's I, one of the good I can ones. Tell. That's why I turn my back to him. Hell yeah. I'm what? Like, hey. What is, your, baja, cabron, what is your least favorite <laughs> race, Steve Lee? <laughs> Excuse me? What is your least favorite race of human beings? Nah. First ever white guy to get that sound only, effect on a kill Tony. No better way to get it. What's your least favorite hey, race of humans? No. Nah. Nah. I was going to say Nigerian. Yeah. No, don't do that. Don't do that. No, but no. Nah, just only leave because it. Because my no. probation officer back in the day was Nigerian. He hated me, man. Oh, you're digging a deeper hole, Steve. I know, digging whatever. a deeper hole. Just hey, stick with me. Let me take over. To okay. My car, please. Uh, all right. After I leave uh, here. Okay, Steve, just relax. Take I'm a breath. Trying. The, the momentum's trying. taking over right now. No, you're dude. filled with adrenaline and fucking I don't even know semen, what I'm obviously. With hair yeah. and you keep this up. We're going to get Nicky Boy back up here to suck you off real quick. I bet he could have. I bet he can find his way through the forest. He's gonna, he's gonna find. He could. F- <laughs> he's gonna find his way through your forest like a fucking hobbit in Lord of the Rings. That's what he's gonna do. Yes, Nicky the jeweler will finally find his pearl necklace. He's been after. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only only a place like this could Nikki and a guy like Steve Lee even be in the same room enjoying themselves, right? You know what I mean? That's what I love about this show. It's like, you think, you think you're ever going to run into Steve Lee at a fucking spin class? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what is that? He actually inspired me to get up. I'm like, this dude can get up there and just spill his guts. Heck yeah. Well, no, thank goodness he didn't spill his actual guts or else there'd be (laughs) semen everywhere. Uh, uh. This place would look like a goddamn end of Ghostbusters 1, just marshmallow. (laughs) Blown out marshmallow everywhere. All right. uh, So, Steve, man, such an interesting life. How many kids do you have? I have three. I have a... My oldest boy, he's an Army Ranger. Wow. Yes. Army Ranger? How old's he? He's 23. Wow, look at you. You got a fucking 23-year-old, you grown-ass man. What are the What are the other kids? You got one Army Ranger yeah, and two Power Rangers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a Yellow Ranger at home. He's yeah. a bad motherfucker. I bet. No, his I actually his have son is the White Power Ranger. <laughs> 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 wow. Reginald. Unbelievable. So what's the 16-year-old doing? He's uh, actually the world's youngest pinstriper and painter. What's a pinstriper? Pinstriper, old school rides. I build a lot of old school rides, like old classic cars. Yeah. And then you do the pinstriping, custom graphics on it. Oh, that's fucking it. awesome. He actually, we actually both do the Autorama every year. So y'all come out to Autorama and bid on some bitchin' um, hot rod art that me and him... Wins, uh, wins Autorama. It's uh, February 24th. Yeah, 24th through the 26th, and all the proceeds go to Scottish Rite Hospital. And right, there you go. Last, last year, we raised $28,000. There you go. That's a clean awesome. plug on this show. That's our good deed for the yeah, year 2020. That's very exciting, so thank yeah. you. That's a, all that we will be contributing to any children or no. sick people no. of any kind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only problem is I can't let nobody watch this that I go pinch right for because I... Because you talked about putting a flashlight up to your balls. I think they can handle it, dude. Uh, Uh, Well, actually, afterwards, we go and have dinner with the kids and go upstairs and play with the kids. So I just will leave all the flashlights at home. Heck yeah. (laughs) 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 You son of a bitch. Unless we're bat winging cripple kids. Wait a second. Whoa. I would really. Oh, I got more of that than a Nigerian. <laughs> okay, Steve, you really, every, you are the fucking human undertaker. It is incredible. You just fucking love digging yourself. And I got more trouble for saying cripple for the second time than I did saying fucking Nigerian. Like, Serious <laughs> shit, though. That's where this world's at. I mean, come on. Jesus. I like how he God. still thinks <laughs> that the worst thing that he said was about the, the thing. All right. Nigerian? 
No, no the other the ball sack the was his wing. worst thing. Oh, but yeah. he's like, but don't get me started on Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't paint your house because of the Nigerians. I thought it would be the ball sack comment. <laughs> No, you're good, Doug Steve. Don't ball. no, don't hey, worry about this, this stuff. We're just kidding. No, we're not gonna fucking well, delete this. Tell us something else. Uh, uh, tell, tell us something else crazy about your life that we'd be surprised to know. You ever? Uh, you're from Texas, born and raised? No, no. Actually, I'm from born in San Diego. <laughs> what does yeah? <laughs> wow, uh, big uh, twist. Went to school in Palm Springs, and then came out in a Volkswagen bus. Met her when I was 26. Uh huh. And uh, visited my mom. She lived in Texas. Met her. Knocked her up the first week I met her. You wow. knocked up your mother the first week you yeah. met her? <laughs> wow. My mother's Look at neighbor. this fucking easy bake oven over here, huh? <laughs> 17 years later, loads. I got a fucking accent. And the still... first week you met her, you got her pregnant? Well. I mean, were you already, was... like, coming inside of her? Was, is that just something no, you no, do? No, like, no, are no, you, no, like, a, a bear him. or something oh, like I'm that? Oh, I'm fixed. No, no, I'm on the pill. I was like, oh, yes, cool. And I'm, I'm oh, she told guy. you she was on the pill? Well, yeah. Oh, still, Steve, yeah, you're I a know, fucking idiot, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. No, 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 no. Sweet revenge. Five years later. Yeah? Dismount. Boom. I said it. I guess, I guess pulling I out is a rich fruits. man's game. I, I, I actually have a 10-year-old that I planted in her on purpose. Oh, you didn't tell her, that, but you wanted another kid. No, I didn't, but I just wanted to see what it felt like because two times I got trapped with both my oldest kids. I wanted to see what it felt like to fucking trap a girl. I was like, well, fuck it. Wow, <laughs> yeah, you really, fuck, you really, really... Hey, but you know what? You really showed her. Uh, uh, well, Making yeah. a human life. Yeah, uh, yeah. Catch us all next week on Impractical Jokers. <laughs> uh, I mean, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. I got Mer, my... why did you impregnate <laughs> another girl? Uh, no, you're good, Steve. You're good. You're good. You seem you seem like you're disappointed in this appearance. Well, no, I, I mean, How many of you think I, Steve's been one of the most entertaining people up here all night? We love you, Steve. You embody the essence of a fucking Kill Tony fan. You're a big... Uh, this is for you. Take this. Man. That's for you to have. That's a, from the billionaires. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Lee. Let's keep it moving along. He's on social media at... S Instagram at Striper Steve Lee. All one word. Striper. This guy puts stripes on fucking automobiles. That's a badass thing. She's getting pregnant again tonight. Dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. She's going to get him back. You got to get him back. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to teach her a fucking lesson, dude. Bust a nut in that little fucking Texas barbecue platter over there. <laughs> Pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together. For Jaren with a J. J E R R I N. Motherfucking. Jaren. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. In the flesh. Jaren. Come on, one more time for Jaren. What's Jared. up, Dallas? How's it going? Thank you, Tony, for coming back all the time. Uh, you want to know something sucks? That uh, when you're an adult, when you're a kid, it's not that bad. Uh, piss in your pants when you're drunk. Uh, you wake up and your bed's all wet and stuff. And when you're a kid, you come home, and your bed's made, it's all clean and stuff, and everything's tidy when you're a freaking adult. God damn, it's like Niagara Falls, right? You gotta make, the, you gotta freaking change the sheets, make the bed, everything. Uh, yeah, it's a nightmare. Uh, that was a good one, huh, guys? Yeah. All right, let's try another one. All right, so I got some Chinese food the other night. She delivered my order, and... Uh, I gave her 30 bucks, it was only 20 bucks, I didn't have change. And she just put her hands to her chest and bowed to me. I was like, what the fuck, no one's ever done that to me before. So I bowed back. And then she took my 30 bucks and left. So I was thinking next time she comes to the door, I'm gonna give her 10 bucks and bow to her and shut the door. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh yeah. This guy's gonna... Gonna really screw over the Chinese food lady, huh? 
She screwed me over, man. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Jared? <laughs> it's going good. Heck yeah. You are the world's largest eighth grader. I've always wondered uh, <laughs> when I was going to see it. You're just a big, jolly boy talking about pee-peeing in your pants and getting Chinese delivery. Look at you. Wow. How old are you? 32. About to be 33. 32 years old. You're a grown man with the spirit of, I feel like you're regressing in age, a seventh grader. I'll go with seventh I'll grader now. I'll take that. I'll take that. It's incredible. <laughs> what do you do for work, Jaron? I'm a sales manager for a credit card processing company. Wow. My goodness. Actually, I've Stealing always wanted... jobs from hardworking Indian men. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> wow. Look at this clap that's taking place. Wow. It's a special audience here tonight. Mm. There he is. It's like a Blink-182 concert. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> Wow. How long have you been doing that for, Jaron? Seems about like a job you got about nine months seven ago. Years. Oh, wow. seven years. Seven years. Wow. How long have you been off. doing that weird head bounce thing every time you talk? <laughs> like the no, last answer me. two minutes. <laughs> this is your first time on stage? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Time, We're popping yeah. cherries <laughs> up here. <laughs> wow. My goodness. Is, is stand-up something you've always wanted to do, or how'd you, how'd you end up here I tonight? Always, took an interest to it and actually I went to one of your shows a few years ago and got into it so mm -hmm. started listening to Kill Tony and it's my fifth time to put my name in my bucket. And How'd you end that. up at one of my shows a few years ago? Dude, How does just that randomly in Fort Worth. Why is it your date, bucket? And it was a girl on a random date. Look at that. <laughs> you ended up being the comedian. Did you end up getting laid that night just out of curiosity? Mm. We had already went on a few dates and we had, yes I did. The yes. answer is always yes. yes. <laughs> it's a fact. If you see Tony Hinchcliffe live running a long stand-up comedy set, you get fucked that night. Everybody does. Yeah. If you don't end up hooking up with a girl, my old friend Nikki will fuck the shit out of you uh, <laughs> right before bed. You just hit him up. He's going to come over, do some good old butt guzzling and uh, fuck it. Where's that girl now? It's true. From Sitting Kill right Tony there. to Phil Tony. <laughs> Absolutely. From a bucket of destiny to a bucket of... All right. Now back to you, uh, Jared. So you're still with the girl. She's here. Oh, wow. My goodness. And you had only been on a few dates when you yeah. saw me at that time. Just another fun fact. If you bring a girl that you really like to see a Tony Hinchcliffe show and uh, you want it to be long term, you it ends up working out. True story. Has she tricked you yet? Like, you, she she get knocked up yet? <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, she, she will. Didn't, she didn't she tell will. you that she's on I'm the pill and you fell for it like a big bearded dummy. <laughs> hey, he's waving that hundred bucks I gave him. He thinks it's real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn it, it's not real. I'm going to come inside of it, teach it a lesson. <laughs> wow. So, Jaron, tell us more about you, man. Well, like I said, I've been doing credit card processing. I've always been looking for a billion-dollar account over here. Uh-oh. I have a chance to sell a billionaire. Whoa. Wow, you're so funny. You should be on the current cast of SNL. Um, it's incredible. Your improv skills are just, I mean, wowzers. I mean, look, even fucking Roseanne Barr had to hustle back up here to uh, see it. Oh, that's, Roseanne's cool. That's, that's not a diss. I love it. I, I called you a lesbian and you loved it. I call you Roseanne and you cringe. <laughs> Roseanne's a legend. Yes, you don't like rich lesbians? Anyway, over here, Jaren. So, what do you like to do for fun? You don't have kids. You're out there just fucking beating. Go to a lot of reggae concerts. Really? Reggae? Oh, wow. I know some guys that know a little something about reggae. What's the last reggae concert you went to? Revolution? No, I don't know what that is. That that fucking chick does back there. Is that her? Is that your girl back there? No. Nah. Oh. You smoke a lot of pot? Yes. Really? How often? Every day? Throughout the day, yes. When you wake up, you smoke pot? Yeah, absolutely. You wake and bake? Yes. What do you wake and bake out of? You have Just a... You have a few hits throughout the day. I got a pen at work. Just yes. a little... What do you do? You smoke a joint throughout the day or a pipe or no, a water bomb? I got bomb? pens. I got a stairwell next to my office. Oh, a stairwell. Not, yeah. And I'll yeah. Go in the let's, stairwell let's check in with bed. Reginald uh, Fontaine. Yeah, III. since he pisses the bed, he wakes in lakes. <laughs> <laughs> How often?
often do you piss your bed that you would come out guns ablaze and opening with that? Your first time on stage and you spend I, I 40 seconds. I kind of that. I didn't mean to say when you were drunk when you were a kid. It yeah. might happen once every month yeah. or two if I drink a little too much. You botched it, you said? Once every yeah. month. Oh, I botched a lot, yeah. Wow. Yeah, you really shit the bed on that piss yeah. the bed joke. Uh, Dude, it's a lot that. more intimidating up here than you think it would be. Jesus. No, it's a lot more intimidating <laughs> up here than you think it would be. <laughs> I, I, I just figured out what you look like. A cockatoo. <laughs> ah, yeah. You oh, do shit. The... <laughs> You're going to get Nikki back up here. He thinks you said a cock or two. <laughs> Nikki's like, what? Where? How about a hand for Nikki? He's got such a great sense of humor. Oh, he's standing up. He stood up for that. There's cum running oh down his leg right cum now. Ice. He's giving it to everybody. He's just cum continuously running like David Goggins right out of him. The waitress just slipped on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing better than comparing David Goggins to cum flowing out of someone's butthole. I mean, these are the things that we say that we could easily... Imagine me getting a call from David Goggins like, yo, you's a bitch, man. You don't even run or nothing. Over there talking shit like a bitch. (laughs) I used to be like you. (laughs) All right. So, Jaren, anything else crazy we need to know about you? I mean, you seem like, yeah. I got called on The Price is Right one time. Whoa. What happened? Yeah. (laughs) One in the Plinko, two in the Stinko? What are we talking about here? I wish. Fuck. Yeah. No, what ended up happening? I got called up last, got to bid once, and some woman bid right on top of me, and that was it. And then you get banned mm. for 10 years. Wow. Yeah. You can go to the show, but wow. they won't call you up. So. Did she do like the point one or the penny over you? I, so when you get called up last, you bid first. Let's check in with Reginald real quick. Yes, why do you look like you would rather go on the game show The Price is Alt-Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> that would have worked so much better for the last comedian. It's a great joke, though. Yeah, can you come back up here and tell The Price <laughs> is Right, right. story? <laughs> All right. Working with what I have. <laughs> Jaren, uh, I like your style, man. I love it when people come on and do their first time with us. And uh, thanks for doing it. There goes Jaren, everybody. We're going to keep flying through this bucket. Let's see how many we can get through, huh? You're welcome. He's on Instagram at Jaren dash D period. No, Jaren with a J period D period Ashford. How about a hand for the amazing wait staff here at... Uh, Oh, okay. That's a late name. It's just a regular name, huh? That's cool. I guess we'll allow it. Why not? Yeah, normal. For future shows. Put your hands together for Philip Garcia, everyone. Philip Garcia. Wow, big pop there. Hey, hey. Bon, bon, bon. Yeah. How about a hand for the band, too, huh? Just fucking killing it tonight. Here's Philip Garcia, everyone. Y'all ever seen a really, really old veteran with a really old Asian woman? (laughs) And wondered if he took her? (laughs) Come on. Yeah. (laughs) I haven't had an Amber Alert on my phone with a car newer than 2010. I don't think it ever. (laughs) It's because kidnapping is a poor people problem. It's a hard pill to swallow, right? But when I see 2003 Kia Sorento, I don't think that's my problem. I think he's going to need a jump in like 15 fucking minutes. Right? It's some dude at Valero and Odessa's fucking number one day. You know what I mean? He's like, today's the day, Ma. I'm going to be on TV, everybody. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hmm. Uh, two birds, I'm stoned. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Philip Garcia. Absolutely. That's how it's done. I should have known when I heard that big pop when your name got said. Seems like you have some fans out there, huh? 
yeah, yeah. Local it's comedian. Good friends, yeah. Good How friends long have you been doing it? A few years? Two years. Started in Houston, like two years ago. So Two years. Started Somehow. in Houston. But now you live here in Dallas? Yeah, I grew up here. I went to school down there. So. Yeah, what part of town did you grow up in? Uh, Hearst, Ulysses Bedford, so mid cities. Ah, oh, Hearst, the mid cities. Wow. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Why are y'all cheering for the mid cities? <laughs> Heck yeah! No, I think we have a. I think we have a lot of people from uh, like Mesquite out here tonight. That's what it seems like. <laughs> Something like that. Some uh, maybe a couple Oak Cliffs, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Is that a rich neighborhood? You, Oak Cliff? Or, yeah, you have. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's the nicest. Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's getting nicer, that's for sure. I'll say that. Yeah. They're trying over there. I guess. <laughs> that's great. So uh, I like your style. You have a you have an interesting, uh, very comedic look too. You oh, look like you. a comedian. You look like <laughs> somewhere between uh, Zach Galifianakis and Nanette. <laughs> so it's very funny. You know, you have a good good comedy look. Thank uh, you. What do you? How do you make money? I'm a waiter. Uh, yeah, I actually work with Zach Rippy. He was on here earlier. Yeah. Oh, wow. You guys yeah. are all at the same restaurant. Huh? Let's check <laughs> yeah. in with Reginald Fontaine the Third. Yes, he looks like a caddy at a mini golf course. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Maybe a fatty at a mini golf course. <laughs> Would you like a putter or butter? <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. Fuck yeah! This guy's <laughs> the only iron this guy uses is the uh, <laughs> vitamin for his deficiency. <laughs> golf fat jokes, people. They're golf fat jokes. It was the Not whole as way easy here. As it iron I wrote here with five comedians, and there was just fill your fat the entire time. Of course, here too, so yeah. of course. It's a golf shirt you're wearing. <laughs> Very hard Thick. nipples. Thank you. Yeah. Those are those are some fucking. Should I show them to the internet? No. Those, those things. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> you, look, you, you look like you look like you drink the milk that comes out of them. <laughs> you know that's what those circle band aids are for. <laughs> do you play? Do you play golf? Just wear the merch. Uh, yeah, I play golf. You do? Yes. How often? Uh, once a week? Twice a week? I usually try at least once a month. Yeah. Wow. And you use the cart? Wow, an athlete. No, no. I, go to, uh, <laughs> I go to this uh, nine hole. So. Hell yeah, nine hole. Nine hole. My goodness. Oh, Three we parkers. just got Nikki excited again. We said nine <laughs> holes. Nine <laughs> holes. That's what I was oh, my goodness. That's, that's finally something for me to put my fingers into. <laughs> I just need one more. He's got a dick and tits. <laughs> yum, 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 Whoa, I didn't even hear it. Whoa. My goodness. <laughs> Jesus. I don't, I don't even know what happened there. I missed it. <laughs> Tell us something crazy about you, Philip. Any fun facts about you? Uh, I've had a colonoscopy, and I'm only 23. Wow, 23-year-old. <laughs> oh, no, Nikki's rushing the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Who gave you a col? Why'd you get a colonoscopy? Uh, Abby, just... you get a little Hot Wheels stuck up there? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't by choice. <laughs> Nikki put it there. Sorry, guys. What happened? <laughs> You tried to flashlight your balls like Steve Lee and accidentally <laughs> sat on the flashlight? Yeah. Why'd you get a colonoscopy? Uh, I uh, had some... I was honestly shitting blood, so I was like, go get that checked out. Uh-huh. And uh, they found two precancerous polyps, oh, and really? I have to go back wow. every three years. Yeah. Wait, is that a thing that you should get checked out if you're crapping blood? Yes. Well, <laughs> most Interesting. Of the, yeah. <laughs> most of the time... Most of the time, it's just an internal hemorrhoid. It's not. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Reginald Fontaine the Third. Wow. Oh shit. I believe Reginald might need to see a proctologist. Everyone. It's probably from sitting on stools all around the country <laughs> <laughs> in a hunched-over position with a mini saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So uh, what'd they have to do to get those out? Would they go in with a little laser? Just, uh, yeah, laser, clip and burn them, whatever they do. Yeah. Clip and burn. Clip and burn. Clip burn. burn. <laughs> you didn't get the, did you get the rubber band thing too? Uh, no. 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 
Are you talking oh. about lap band? No, they did. It's like, is that a fat joke again? <laughs> shit. Where they wrap it around with rubber bands and let it go, turn no. black and die. Now, we've talked about this before, and this has nothing to do with this thing that we're talking oh, about. Okay. He's taking an opportunity to shoehorn his hemorrhoid stories into your <laughs> precancerous polyp. Uh, is it, you know, any chance to... It's a rubber band any, litigation. Look it up. Any chance to... Uh, Bring in buttholes into the game over hey, here. Hey, he's Red the one man. that brought in buttholes. Well, I mean. Old cancer butthole. Hold over on, here. Nikki's rushing the stage again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, wow. Philip, what's your love life like? You seem like the kind of guy that loves to masturbate gloriously <laughs> into uh, piles of stacks of Kleenex and you just shoot your cum right into the stack of Kleenex and you call it 9 11 or something like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> here comes the old plane of cum. Oh no, such a uh, tragedy! <laughs> my, my bedroom's a mess, yes, yes, it's sad. I made, I made a blanket out of the tissues, yeah. What's your love life like? I have a girlfriend in New York. Uh, we've been dating for three years. Oh, wow. yeah, you've been, you've been, you mean you've been dating her for three years? And <laughs> she's, she's no, been, she just moved up there like six months ago. But uh, Six yeah. months ago, wow, just yeah. imagine. I mean, and plus <laughs> they're an hour ahead right now, just 1030 New York fucking yeah. city. Yeah. It's okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she must be, uh, she must be unattractive for you to be so confident. No. <laughs> She's like a wow, solid. That's like eight, a 2020. Man. That's a, a 20. Eight. That's a 2020 joke right there. That's literally not ready to be seen. You ever seen when they put like a weird, weird cover on a car? Say <laughs> so you don't know like what's coming. Oh, the stickers. Like that's that's a good one. That kind of confidence. Just she must be. A, nobody knew what to do just then. I could feel it. It's like no, that's hilarious though. I, you'll see. I'll do it again in 2020. Place will go crazy. Do you Skype every night? Like, do you do FaceTime every night and all that shit? Yeah, I just yeah. bought an iPhone so we could have quality video calls. Wow. Yeah. Wow. What'd you, what'd you have before? Uh, LG. It was a piece of shit. Ew. Wow. Yeah. Heck yeah. Whoa. LG Some fanboys. real <laughs> LG haters over there. Uh, yes. LG was the iPhone of the 90s. It's on fire, oh, people. Philip, I mean, unbelievable set. I'm going to tell you you. this. You're 23, and that's fucking just frightening. You're a goddamn monster. You're going to be a killer your whole fucking life, obviously. Keep writing. Write as much as you can. Become obsessed with writing and just keep writing. Write, 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 write. Don't let this girl in New York distract you either. If she's going to live there a long time, that's going to be really hard. So unless you're deeply in love, which never happens to 23-year-olds... Uh, really focus on your work, man. And and have you thought about moving to New York? I am in six months. Yeah. You're oh well, there you go. So he's moving to New York in six months. You're gonna be, you're gonna be something special, Philip. There he goes, twenty three year old Philip Garcia. You saw him here first on Kill Tony. You're gonna say, I saw that fucking guy on the same episode as Steve Lee, as Nikki. He was only twenty three. This is fun. Hmm. Oh, you got a cowbell over there. Whoa. Oh, my God. It's a, that's a bison bell. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. All right. Pull Move, the man. <laughs> Here we go. Your next comedian goes by the name of Jorge Carter, everyone. Jorge Carter. Jorge Carter. Please step back from that fucking ledge. Please step back from that ledge, my little friend. One more time for Jorge Cortez. This has been a tough year for me. It's taught me a lot about myself. When times get tough, I don't roll up my sleeves. I pull down my pants. Yeah. I've been selling dick pics and jack off videos on Instagram to gay dudes. Yeah, it's made me reconsider my sexuality. I'm at least a quarter gay. If you give me a quarter, I'll do some gay shit. You know what I mean? So don't worry, I fit most people's budget, okay? (laughs) It's a simple job, but honestly, it gets a little uncomfortable at times. He threw me off one time when he told me that I have an amazing dick. I've heard a good dick before, but I thought that was kind of a stretch, but an amazing dick? Like, if I had an amazing dick, I wouldn't be here right now, you know what I mean? I'd be off doing amazing things, coasting off of that amazing dick, you know? 
Like, I, my dick has done missionary work before, but it's never built any schools or churches. Thank you very much. Wow. Jorge Cortez. Interesting style there. Start off a little bit gay, then you get gayer and gayer and gayer and gayer as the whole thing goes on. That's incredible. You basically came like you peeked out of the closet and then sprinted out right at us, right at everybody there. Very fun. Quarter gay, that part must be your mouth and your butthole. It's an old joke. If you remember, I did it on Brody uh, five and a half years ago. So, Jorge, you're gay. Is that something you've always known? You're from Texas, born and raised? I'm from El Paso, Texas. El Paso, oh, Texas, that gay. Makes sense. Wow, you had to come here just to fucking come out, huh? You have to come out from behind a wall in El Paso, in Jorge Cortez. How old are you? I'm 27. 27. How mm. long have you been doing stand-up? It'll be six years in October. Six years in October. That's a long time. That's good. You've been doing it all uh, around here? Two years out here. And the rest was El Paso? Uh-huh. Your former military? No. 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 What are, what, what are you? You seem muscular. Just Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> wow, listen to all those white sluts over there. Wake up. You just woke the dead over there. I fuck women. I just yeah. jog off for gay men. They all just got pregnant. Right yeah, now. that's it. That's all it takes. You, you had like a crazy ankle injury this year, right? Yeah, I, I ruptured guy. my Achilles tendon. It got infected. It just closed up the wound. And uh, oh, it was, I fucking just... Yeah. I saw pictures. It was disgusting. How do you yeah. know about this? We're friends. I met him at uh, the Fort Worth Hyenas last time I was out oh, here. Oh, wow. Just because he's a yeah. Cortez? That's how you work? You get these No, because he's a corridor gay. That's why. Wow, look at that. Who do you think's giving him that quarter? Heck yeah. <laughs> One in the drummer, oh, two God. in the bummer. You know what I'm saying, bro? Uh, wow, Jorge. So are you, you're just, you're really 100% gay, right? No, I'm not gay at all. I'm just comfortable enough to, this has been a shitty year. I'm also on probation. Oh, wow. really? Yeah, this ankle cost $10,000. I didn't have insurance. So I was just like, fuck it. Someone wants to give me money for shit I'm already doing. Let's do it. I got to pay $15 for someone to look at my dick while I piss every month. Might as well make some money off I'm of so it. confused. What are you on probation for? I got arrested the day my grandpa died for a gram of weed. I panicked, ate it, turned into a felony, had to go to court. Fucking this. Yeah. Yeah. A gram of weed? Yes, boo. Drugs are bad. Oh, here's the arresting officer right here, everybody. Look who's coming back to see. Slob the bounty hunter. (laughs) Heck yeah. That's fucking Waddler, Texas Ranger right there. (laughs) Yeah. Yes, yes. Did so, you run from the police? Is that what happened? No, my license plate light was out. They pulled me over, and I was like, fuck, I panicked. I ate it. And so what? How did, they, how did they know you ate it? It was in my teeth, and I'm afraid of the cops. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's just dumb. It was fucking dumb as fuck. Oh, wow. my God. Yeah. Wow. You could have shoved it up your butt, or Nikki's butt, yeah. for that matter. <laughs> uh, so wait a second. You're completely straight and all that stuff you just said was made up? Is that what you're no, saying? No, it's true. I'm really selling that shit on Instagram. I just don't give a shit. Wait, say that again. I'm like, I sometimes... I'm, I'm, I'm straight, but I sell dick pics to this guy dude on Instagram. Like, Are you serious? I like to eat food, man, and pay my pills, so yeah. Wow. How, mu- <laughs> how, much, how much money do you make for selling dick pics on Instagram? It's like 50 bucks at a time. Just Can I get that guy's at, please? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. I don't know if you know this. Uh, Joel is notorious for having basically three baked potatoes connected to one another for a dick. The thing looks like a goddamn third arm. It's fucking third arm blind over here. Just fucking third arm blind was the Beatles of the <laughs> something. Heck yeah. Do you ever do uh, cam? Do, do you cams also? Like, do you guys do you FaceTime old men and jack off for them? You ever no, go like, Instagram yeah, Live yeah. or anything like that? No, no, that, not that, that. You ever do anything in person? Has anybody ever been like? An, I would never an, do anything an, in person because indec- I can't run away if it goes sideways. Right, because your because your <laughs> yeah. ankles fucked. It's so fucked up. Wow, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, but if it's a public place. Did you, you ever let any gay man fuck your open ankle wound when uh, <laughs> you had it? No. 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 <laughs> Just curious. That Dude. was disgusting. I guess so. So what else? What are some hobbies that you came up with since you're basically, what, under like house arrest or something? 
I'm not on house arrest, but I like to garden, which is pretty gay. You like to garden? Right. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty gay, pretty Mexican. Yeah. Heck yeah. That is, that is, that is both. You, are, you indeed love working with dirty hoes as well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how long have you been gardening for? What do you do in the garden? Uh, I just have like a few like potted plants, but eggplants, cucumbers, <laughs> <laughs> zucchinis. Hey! Wow! <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> My goodness, Jorge. Well, fun times, man. I mean, a fun set. That shit's very interesting. You've been doing it six years, and uh, you came out. So thank you so much, man. Another great fucking comedian up here, getting laughs. We're getting through it. It's a pretty gay episode of Kill Tony tonight. Hell yeah. Sometimes the gay episodes are the ones, you know? I think I have a loose wire over here. Look good. Look out. Loose wire. Okay. Uh Uh-oh. We're about to take a turn here. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Caitlin Hasenauer. Oh. Our first lady of the night. Oh. Caitlin has an hour, has an hour, has an hour. She's coming. She just went to the restroom? She's changing her pad. Hold on a second. Wow. Oh, here she is. Wow. Oh, no. Okay. Everything's okay. One more time for Caitlin has an hour. I just ate ass. Can I get a round of applause for that? Fuck yeah. All right. So I'll tell you, uh, my son's preschool recently had career day. They invited all the parents to come speak about their careers, which I found weird because I send my son to an income-based preschool. Yeah. I'm not sure if we're the ones that should be bragging about our careers to four-year-olds. Just saying. Like, what am I going to go in there and be like, yeah, I didn't finish college but I get to make waffles whenever I want. (laughs) Yeah, it's not a good thing. But I'm also thinking they're using it as like a scare tactic. Like when a kid's not listening, they're gonna be like, hey, Timmy, Timmy, come here. Do you wanna end up like Khaleesi's mom? Do you wanna be a manager of a goddamn Burger King one day? Start coloring inside the lines when I tell you to, bitch. Yeah, (laughs) thank you guys. Wow. Catlin Hassenauer. Hassenauer is also how long it took you to come on stage tonight. I'm uh, sorry. Hassenauer. What, what do I take you? Hassenauer? <laughs> All right. So you had a, uh, let's just talk about it real quick. She did have a legitimate fall. Always why I warn everybody. Take your time getting to the <laughs> stage. It's not worth uh, being out of breath. Where'd you land on? Where'd you land? The old, uh, the old front pad there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, again. Okay, is that another 2020? Is that what that is? You're not ready for that yet? No, hi, hi, Catlin. How are you? What'd you land on? You okay? Yeah, I'm You have fine. any rug burn or anything like that? I'm not yet. Okay. <laughs> Just on her knees from yesterday. Okay, all right. That's where you This crowd does not like it when you make fun of the ladies here in Texas. Where, uh, w- where were you? Were you snapping one off? Or w- <laughs> no, I was outside smoking and talking to Zach. Oh, oh yeah. who's Zach? The guy that went up first tonight. Oh, yeah. I still don't remember who he is. Yeah. <laughs> who is he? Is he over there? Where is he? Where's Zach? At? Oh, the church guy. Yeah, the yeah. church guy. <laughs> He's helping me find Jesus. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, uh, uh, so uh, what's going on? You've been on this show before. Yeah, it was uh, at Fort Worth last time y'all came. Yep, that was yeah. a lot of fun. Definitely was. How long have you been doing comedy for? Uh, two and a half years. Two and a half years. And you're from Texas. Yep. Born and raised. You were born in a Whataburger. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty close to one, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, is your daughter's name really Khaleesi? No, not my daughter. Oh, one they're... of my son's friends is named Khaleesi. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my oh, I God. hate young parents. Yeah, <laughs> it's so interesting. <laughs> Same. Same. Heck yeah. Is it is it true to character? Is your son a bastard? 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that's a... First of all, I was right. Yeah. Second of all, it's a fucking Game of Thrones joke. Everybody's holding... We're losing them. We're losing them quick here, people. The, the bills are coming out. People are realizing that they're getting charged for their drinks here tonight. And the whole room is turning on us immediately. They're like, what? This sucks. I thought the drinks came with a ticket. I fucking... That man, that fucking time I got dropped on my head's fucking me up, man. I never should have ran towards the stage like that. Uh, so, Catlin, that's fun. You only have one kid? Yeah, just the one. Just one little boy. Mm-hmm. How old's he? He's four. Four years old. Heck yeah. yeah. He in anything crazy yet? He's really into sea creatures. Sea creatures? Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, you know what that means. He's looking for a little one of those fucking water nickies. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be... Hell yeah. That's what that sounds like when you see a fucking... And you're just swimming under the water, and then all of a sudden you see Nikki's cock. Just ah. It's All just right. funny. We almost named him Nicky, so this is... <laughs> yeah. Wait, say that again? We almost named my son Nick. And Whoa, Whoa. Nick. look at that. Fucking old St. Nick yeah. over there. He's excited oh, oh, about oh. that. All right. Well, that's fun. And uh, so now you're a single mom, and you work hard, and yep. you do stand-up comedy. Yep. That's incredible. It. You yeah. ever find any time to do anything fun for yourself? Uh, I mean, right now it's been... A rocky road. Last time I was on. No, oh, I know you love Rocky Road. Uh. How did you know? Uh. But uh, last time I was on, I talked about my rapper boyfriend. You have a rapper boyfriend? Yeah. Is he still? Is he still around? Uh, no, we broke up like a week ago. Oh <laughs> man, that's what they say. That's what they mean when they say that's a rap. That's a rap. My goodness, yeah. why'd you guys break up? Uh, he wanted to have a kid. Whoa! Yeah. God damn! He, he should he should he should talk to fucking Steve Lee over here. Steve will give him a kid. Yeah. He'll teach him a real fucking he'll lesson. Tr- you know what he'll I mean? trick you good. <laughs> Hell, uh, honest yeah. opinion. What did you think of his rap music? No, he's a really good rapper. I have to say that still because he raps with my boyfriend or my brother as well. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. You said boyfriend. Oh. You fucking your brother, Texas uh. Styley. No, you want me to put it away? Wow. <laughs> My goodness. You wow. ever uh, played doctor with your brother growing up? No, no. This is getting frightening over <laughs> Oh, an audience with a diagnosed trash can. <laughs> when, well, in his defense, when he plays doctor, they just check his blood pressure. <laughs> right. He has my heart palpitations. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Wow. I'll take it. That is so, so fun. So he wanted a kid, and you didn't want to give him a kid. Wow, look at that. Other than the kid, was I mean, there was there anything else? You know what I mean? Like He really didn't like me doing comedy. Why is that, do you think? Uh, I mean... You can support he, his rap career, but you, he wouldn't support you doing stand-up? I had started stand-up in, like, the middle of our relationship, mm-hmm. and he had been a rapper when I met him. So, he kind of... No, that's not a... Yeah, <laughs> yeah he, the fact that you even said it like that goes to show that he got in your head a little bit yeah. about that. That You're allowed to do whatever you want, sweetheart. I'm oh, glad shit. you're not with this guy anymore. Yeah. No point in wasting effort the worst that can happen i mean you know you throw yourself on a fucking dating site a fucking little pog like you put a little fucking put one of those fancy little filters on that motherfucker you're gonna be getting fucked in no time you know what i'm saying Eighty thousand followers (laughs) your son loves sea creatures and i think you're about to catfish someone you know what i'm saying dude (laughs) yeah fuck yeah (laughs) (laughs) tony i think you mean blackfish anyway um (laughs) You could. <laughs> you're crazy. He's troll perking up everyone. <laughs> wow, Catlin, you're so fucking awesome, dude. Every time you're on this show, you do so good. Anything else we need to know about you, or think anything? Any big updates other than that? Uh, I, I got into a car accident. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You uh, got run over by an ice cream truck? I wish. All right. I wish. 
All right, you know what? <laughs> you got rear end. <laughs> no, what happened? You got uh, you got fucking rear ended. That's exactly what happened, actually. Yeah. Right in the. <laughs> Got um, rear-ended straight into those fucking airbags back there. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. Um, yeah, no, I was. Uh, I just got done doing a show, and uh, mm-hmm. me and another comedian were driving to an open mic, and this dude just crashed into the back of me. Uh, oh really my god! Did he have Look insurance? Yeah, he did, and they paid for both me and the other comedians like medical bills and shit. So. Oh, wow, that's great. Yeah. Well, that's great, man. So. That's a rarity. You, you addicted to painkillers yet? I mean, I'm trying real hard. So. You're trying real hard to, <laughs> to, n- to actually take pain medicine. I'm just like, yeah, yeah not you, into it. Not into it. Well, that's a no. good thing. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Very good. Thank you for the clap. Yes, <laughs> that is a it. clap for not being addicted to pain medicine. Absolutely. Only in Texas, ladies and gentlemen. You get a well, that's a standing you for those of you listening to the podcast, there's a standing ovation for her not being hooked on pain Thank medicine. You. Thank you. Uh well, I mean you're always so great and uh, you're a great representative of uh, of the women up here. Uh, you got I mean, I'm telling you right now, uh, uh running, being uh, having your name yelled while you're outside smoking a cigarette, not easy. Having to make that sprint, not easy. Taking the fall Literally, as everyone says, it's about how you pick yourself up. You came right up here. You miraculously didn't even seem out of breath. Oh, thanks. So uh, and you stayed in the pocket. Very impressive performance, Thank if you. not the best of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, Catlin Hour. Great stuff. Oh, my God. She almost tripped on a mic cord right there. Ah. Oh, my God. This match is scheduled for two falls and is for... Oh, she fell again. And ban. Remember, if that fall hurt you and you're still recovering from that car accident, infinitecbd.com yeah. is the promo code Tony I'll show you 15. The, I'll show you the lube. Ew, red ban. God. She doesn't want a baby. She's gold to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, red ban. Every once in a while, uh, the pace of a show like this picks up majestically. Uh, this is a young man who made such a huge imprint on an episode of the Plano episode that we had him back that next weekend when we did a show in Dallas, and he is here tonight again. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you local legend, Colt. Here he comes, everybody. Here he is. It's Colt, everyone. When I was growing up, my older brother had a big mummy phase. I never really got wrapped up in it. I used to live next to a tennis court. I had to move because of all the racket. What do you call a really drunk girl that loves to say yes? An Uber home. (laughs) Sickos. Did y'all hear what the libtards are doing? They're changing the name of manhole to maintenance hole because it has the word man in it. Wait till they hear the word vinegar. (laughs) That shit's got the N-word in there. Say it slow. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? You're good? There's not even anything on these fucking things. What is this? These are fake note cards. <laughs> those are the things that the stickers come out of on those 50 cent machines. Yeah, yeah. You don't even use these. Yeah, what, what's that all about? It was a joke. Wow. wow. I like So many style. layers. Fuck yeah. Like an onion. Look at you. My goodness. It's true. Even Welcome. your comedy has kung fu lessons in it. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> Colt, you notoriously kicked the hat off of former President George Bush. Uh, you... Uh, 
We attempted uh, a kick the uh, next night here on this very stage in which you went head over heels uh, in an impressive maneuver. You pulled a real fucking Catlin Hassan hour and fell on your ass. And uh, so welcome back. You are a Kung Fu uh, legend. Uh, for those of you that don't know who this is, he. Had, uh, how many times have you, d- how long have you been doing stand up? Uh, just the time you came in playing. You only do it on Kill Tony, yes, basically. Sir. So far, so far. And you yeah. are, uh, what, basically the youngest kung fu guy in Texas or something like that. It's probably cr- not the youngest. Uh, but you're, you've competed on a world level yeah. of kung fu. Yeah, uh, Taekwondo. It's okay. How many men out there think they can beat up this kid? Wow. Listen to that complete silence. That was incredible. That is so funny. But if I, if I said that before saying you're a world kung fu yeah. legend, it would have been the loudest this crowd's gotten all that, night. That's the only reason people that have the same body as me and you get into martial arts is yeah, for that. Exactly, yeah. Uh, that's right. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fucking. All right. So Colt, what you been doing lately? Uh, teaching a lot of taekwondo teaching you're uh, teaching taekwondo yes sir heck I, yeah teach full time at a PSA martial art come train no uh, wow. you think they give you a new sweater dude yeah I know right I know. <laughs> that thing's faded same wow look at you now do you always rock that make America great again hat or is that a new thing I didn't rock it tonight. I wore my take it easy hat. That I just think. says take it easy, but you have the balls to wear a red hat with the brim up. Yeah, yeah. I figured like people would think it was that, and then I could be like, no, it's not that hat. Yeah. Wow. You're full of jokes tonight, Colt. <laughs> Hell yeah, Colt. So what are you thinking? Is there any cool kung fu shit you could do to fucking take this thing to another level? What do you, What do you... What would be a good trick for you tonight? He what can do you think? kick the dick out of Nikki's butt right now. <laughs> That's a pretty low blow. I'm <laughs> Nikki just said, could you kick it Triple deeper kick in something? me? Okay. What would be good? Like a piece of paper, you think, or something like that? Bottle? A water bottle? Does anybody have an empty water Great. bottle the only thing we Could don't he have. kick the pipe out of my mouth? Oh, that's, good. Oh, that's good. I think he can do that. You could do. Let, why don't we do both? Why don't we do a triple kick? He has to do a triple kick, which we've never seen him do before on a water bottle. You want to hold the water bottle? He can do the triple kick and then kick the pipe out. Is that po- humanly possible, Colt? Whatever you, what, in any way that you're safest, so that you don't get hurt and that you don't hit the table, Colt. You listen. Oh my God! Just you just want him to hold it. Colt, really think this out. Don't fucking do something that, you know what I mean? I don't want you to... Oh, my God. (laughs) Jeremiah, don't move. Maybe... Should... Let me ask you this. Hold on. Before we get the music too loud. Colt, let me ask you this. Do you think that maybe Jeremiah should turn his head since his nose is so monstrous that... Nah. Because I don't want you to kick his nose on your way up because that is, you know, that's a real cliffhanger there. I mean, that thing's really... It's a fucking... The old horizontal shark fin, the old fucking, uh, the old goddamn, the old goddamn uh, mummy returns over here. Okay. What are you going to do? But how are you not going to hit the table or the mic stand? (laughs) Why am I thinking of this shit for you? This is frightening. This is frightening. If this works. Wow. Oh. I'll help out. I'll even fucking... Would it help if I just sort of held it like that? No? You guys ready to make fucking Kill Tony history here? (laughs) Oh my God, Jeremiah just got kicked in the head. Jeremiah, are you okay? I can't tell uh, whether this is the billionaire or Jeremiah. <laughs> but, uh, uh. I'm going to get so sued. No, you're not going to. Did we get it? <laughs> <laughs> Reginald Fontaine the third. I am going to not take you up on the pipe offer. <laughs> 
Wow. Maybe just put it in between your legs. You okay, pal? He's good. He's good. This is how he acts at the airport. So. <laughs> <laughs> so a... I'm not that good. I mean, you were working in tight quarters. I tried my hardest to uh, make sure that you were uh, in a good parameter I... and everything like that. You seem like you really rushed it. You do this with a lot of life decisions. Usually, yeah. 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 I should have brought the yo-yo. <laughs> Reginald, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> His hair fell like it's real. <laughs> Uh, Reginald, you're slowly turning into like a uh, some type of like mastiff dog or something like that. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know how to put this other than he just kicked the shit out of my head. We have to figure out another way to do these things. I have a throbbing headache right now. No. (laughs) Let me get some aspirin for Jeremiah. Does anybody have some aspirin or some period? Uh, Anybody has any aspirin or some period medicine for Jeremiah? uh, Does anyone have any tampons? Are there two red bands on stage or is he always this big? I can't believe that the water bottle fell off, but the mustache stayed on. That's the most impressive part. Well, yes. The water bottle fell off my head because he kicked the shit (laughs) out of my head. He didn't make contact with the bottle at all. It is Your karate classes suck. This is the worst PSA for your class ever. That's true. That's true. You're right. <laughs> That's what he means when he says he teaches. He's just kicking kids in the head. <laughs> Come here, Jeremy. Come here. What the? <laughs> I right. will pay ten billion dollars for somebody to beat the hell out of this child. That's ten billion in giant one hundred dollar bills. You might want to start thinking about that, people. <laughs> hey, that looks like real money right there. Is that real? What is that? It's yours. <laughs> that looks real, Jeremiah. Do you have some real money mixed into there? Oh, you do. Okay, very yeah. good. All right, just wanted to make sure. That was nothing worse than getting kicked in the head and accidentally giving a guy $100. <laughs> Keep it. I mean it. I'm a real billionaire. Completely in character now. I got stuck this way when I got kicked in the head. He never, he never <laughs> went back to his normal self. It's been three years. <laughs> Take it, young boy. <laughs> All right, Colt. We're going to keep it moving along. We got a kick out of you. Come on, make some noise for Colt, everybody. He feels terrible. Really nothing more awkward than one of the beloved stars of the show getting kicked in the head. How about one more time for Jeremiah Watkins during all that? Huh? <laughs> you guys think we should go back to this bucket one more time, huh? Put your hands together for John Brown, everyone. Let's see what happens. John Brownie. John Brown. Your final comedian of the night. One more time for your final comedian of the night, John Brown. Hey, it's good to be here. I'm not originally from Dallas. I'm originally from South Carolina, so I don't know my real dad. I was actually raised by my stepdad. He was a good dude. I call him my dad. Him and my mom were married for about 12 years. They ended up getting a divorce, though. She ended up marrying another guy after that. That guy tried to tell me what to do one time. I was like, hey, man, you better watch how you're talking to me. You ain't my real stepdad. <laughs> it's one thing I learned when my biological stepdad left. <laughs> Your stepdad, man, you can leave whenever you want. Nobody gives a fuck, right? Like, there's no such thing as a deadbeat stepdad. 
Nobody goes to jail for unpaid step child support. That's why they call it step dad. You always got one foot out the door, right? You're like, man, I hate you, Blake. What the fuck you just say? I'm about to leave, dude. Take the PlayStation with me. Wow. Very impressive. Another great set from John Brown on Keltonius. This is your what, third or fourth? Second. Second. Yes. Heck yeah. Seems like, seems like more. No. Uh, every time you do good, though. You've been doing this, what, four, five, six years? Something? Five, yeah. Five years. Just about five, yep. Yep. Five <laughs> years. All here in Dallas? Uh, yes, sir. Yep. What do you do for work again? Uh, I don't do anything now. I actually just quit my job about a month ago. Before, oh. I was uh, ho- at a hotel. So You were at a hotel. Yeah. Now, I'm just a broke comic. So. What made you quit your job? I just didn't want to do it anymore. That's pretty much it. <laughs> wow. How are you surviving? Uh, I get a disability from the military, from the VA. And so that gets my bills paid. And then I just pretty much pay for my food and booze and God weed with it, comedy man. money. It's incredible. What branch of the military were you in? Air Force. So, Air Force. Yes, sir. My God. Most of the people here on this show tonight have been veterans of the United States fucking military. Yeah. yeah. It's we incredible. Get, we get free money, so we can do comedy. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it's free. All you had to do was risk your life. Oh yeah, not really. You just joined the Air Force. And <laughs> you didn't know that though. What did oh. you do in the Air Force? Oh, they're crew chief on the B fifty two. Someone said I had stole valor, but no, you're oh, fucking I love, idiot. I love the B fifty two. I know we yeah. did this last Can't time. <laughs> in the love shack yeah. is a little hope. <laughs> All right. Uh, John, what's the craziest thing you've ever put your penis in? Oh, um, actually, it's funny you mentioned that. I have skin cancer on my penis right now. Whoa. Yeah, like right now. Ooh. That's so interesting. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I've heard that that is the absolute, basically the worst thing that can happen to you. Am I close to correct on that? Uh, not exactly. Really? No, just yeah. cut Are you this playing it down a little bit? You're trying to get, you have, did you bring a date here tonight? <laughs> it's, it's like just yeah, is her name skin. Chemo? <laughs> anyway. Oh. Wow. Skin cancer on your dick. Have you ever thought about letting Nikki suck all the cancer out of it? <laughs> That's how I got there in the first place. So. Oh, really? Is that uh, true? No, I don't know. Is that how it started? Is like a herpes or something like that? No, no. That's what I thought it was, but it was cancer. Right. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And I wouldn't even have known. They were like, we could do a biopsy. I was like, fuck it. I didn't know what that was. Right. So what, what what happened? You had like a you're little like, uh, little firm You're like, spot. biopsy? I'm not gay. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was just a mole, and then I just, they said, don't worry about it, it's just a mole, and so then they tested it, and they were like, it is actually skin cancer. Uh, oh, like, oh, my God. Hey. So what happened? How yep. much longer does your penis have to live? Uh, well, we'll see. I have a consult next week, so. Wow. But no, it's just, a, they're just going to cut the little part off. Oh, you mean the whole So pretty much most of it, yeah. Yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> wow. You're, you're going to have some deep roots. <laughs> my goodness. Who does that operation? <laughs> Lorena Bobbitt? <laughs> I hope not. Yeah, I hope not either. That would be bad because she would cut it off and throw Some it in awesome. a road somewhere. <laughs> no. no, that's the worst thing that could happen to you. Absolutely, yes. That's what you were looking for earlier. Uh huh. Mm. Wow. <laughs> what did you do at the hotel that you quit at? I was a maintenance man. Wow. Wow, that's where yeah. you got it from. All those chemicals. No, no chemicals. <laughs> Come on, there, there must be something. Know. There must be something that you put your dick into. Right. It's so interesting that I asked that. And vagina? <laughs> I don't know. Vagina? Yeah, right. that's GMO pussy. Possible. <laughs> wow. Does it smell weird? That's what I thought happened. No, actually, no. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's fun. I mean, are you going to keep us posted about your uh, using, yeah, using the will. hashtag Kill Tony? How many you would like dick updates penis. about his skin cancer? Huh? <laughs> Let us know how your con- consult goes next week. Yeah, I will. Uh, actually, yeah, I think it's next week. They're, they said it should be next week, but I'm like, dude, it's cancer. Maybe fucking tell me right now soon. If, 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 you, now. if you do die, will we have a, an obituary for your dick and you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> an obituary. Hey, oh, oh, that was better than what I said. Come on. Um, <laughs> when I first saw you, I was like, uh, I thought you looked like an earthworm, but then you were really funny. Oh, well, I... <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Well, I mean, wait, wait a second. 
who got kicked in the head up here again? <laughs> yeah. Uh, there he goes into regressing as a baby. Wow. Well, John, I like your style. You've been on this show a couple times. We're going to uh, we're gonna get you out of here. There he goes, John Brown, everybody. Another unbelievable set. Great set, man. Very good jokes. Good luck on the dick. Guys, I don't know. There's just something in the air tonight. What do you guys think? One more, huh? I mean, I don't know. Call me Jeremiah's head because I'm getting a kick out of you. You know what I mean? <laughs> there it goes. That mustache is fucking hanging, dude. Okay. You guys sure you want to do this? One more comedian? I mean, we could all get out of here. We get out of here. You could come back. You could see a stand-up show this weekend. Come back on Saturday, the 4.30 show. Or we could do one more comedian right now. And both. And you could do it all. I, I think we should just wrap it up and do it Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, come on, guys. All Dead right. Ben. <laughs> okay. I pulled the name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Daniel Gill. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Here comes Daniel, everyone. Come on. One more time for Daniel Gill, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. I know I look like Johnny Bravo loves cupcakes. <laughs> I'm not doing that well. Just before this show, I was leaving my house and my dishwasher started acting up. It's kind of frustrating. Kept making all these weird noises like, What are you about to go do? <laughs> Why don't you stay home with the kids? You know you're not as handsome as your brother. She's a peach. <laughs> Tell you a little more about me. I am uh, part German, part French, which explains my love for fine chocolates and women with body hair. Uh, yeah, I told that joke to my wife, and she was like, who's that joke about? <laughs> I was like, I don't know Chewbacca legs. Who do you think? <laughs> oh, man, she got so mad, but all that came out was... <laughs> wow, look at that, Daniel Gill. Look at you. Daniel Gill, more like Daniel Kill. That was a good set. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about three and a half. Three and a half years. Fuck yeah, man. You perform a lot, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. Like a few times a week at least? Uh, I try to do mics uh, two to four times a week. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Fuck yeah. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm a stay-at-home dad. Stay-at-home dad. One kid? Three. Whoa, how old are they? 13, 5, and 3. Whoa, 13, 5, and 3. All the same mom there? Uh, two different, two different baby different moms. moms. One with yeah. the 13 and one with the 5 and 3. Two yeah. moms. Two moms. <laughs> I got two moms. Hell yeah, man. Which, uh, which kid's your favorite? 13? 5. Wow, yeah. fiver. Fuck yeah. yeah, look at that. No hesitation. You said that fast. 13-year-old's a boy, the 5-year-old's a girl? No. Five-year-old's a boy. Whoa. Uh, is that uh, Daniel Jr.? No. Oh. No. Would you name him something? Leviticus. Like? Leviticus? Yeah. Oh, my God. When, when, you know what's crazy is that when Leviticus and Khaleesi meet, they're going to fuck each other's <laughs> brains up. <laughs> wow. So what's been happening your whole life, Daniel? Uh, I was born. Yeah, and yeah. then what? Uh, I... Uh, much like uh, Reginald, right? I was kicked in the head as well by a horse. Uh, wow. Yeah, when I was uh, 18 months old. Oh, my God. How the did you... Yeah. I was oh. going to say, I talked to the horse. He said you asked for it. <laughs> I probably did. How did you get kicked in the head by a horse at 18 months old? Neglect. Yeah, yeah. your parents yeah. weren't around? No, they were there. How did you get out. that close to a horse? <laughs> 
We we had horses at our house. Oh my god, you had horses at your house. That yeah. is the most Texas shit. I didn't yeah. realize people actually did that. Yeah. They Other say, than like the Budweiser family or whatever, you yeah, know what right? I mean? Yeah. Wow. No, they say guns kill people. Horses do a lot yeah. more damage. Wow. So you're 18 mm. months old and a horse just fucking kicked you in your head. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually lucky to be alive. Uh, the horse was actually a, a pony and it didn't have shoes on. So. Wow. Oh my yeah. god. Did you I heard a black it, horse it. stole its shoes. <laughs> Stallion. No. Stallion stole it. Do you have, do you have like jello head? Like, I mean, are you yeah, a little. It was, it, it's because I was 18 months old, the, the head is very malleable. Right. So, no, do you wow. got any weird tics about you? Like, you slobber when you watch TV or something? Or? Uh, I cried during Moana a lot. I mean, oh my uh, goodness. You know. Wow, right when you felt bad for Jeremiah getting kicked in the head by a little <laughs> kung fu guy, you find out this guy, 18 months <laughs> yeah, old, took it from baby. a fucking <laughs> pony. <laughs> what color was the pony? Do you remember? Brown? Was it a golden gold pony? Brown? Brown? Gold, gold pony? No. Brown? No. Would you like to be kicked in the head again just for nostalgia purposes? <laughs> no. <laughs> no I know a guy. <laughs> Wow, you do anything for fun? You have any special hobbies or skills or talents or anything like that? Uh, I like doing this. I like doing stand up. I uh, I was a poker dealer. Ooh, Ooh a poker yeah. dealer. I worked at a, a casino that would not pay me to do this. Uh, Sin Star, if you guys know. Sin, no, uh, hey, we're franchising. Wow. Anyways, you're a poker dealer. Yeah, I did that for uh, eleven years. Wow. No. Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. You're no. probably good at it, right? Well, I'm all right. Poker player ever, uh... Eh, forget it. Figuring you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Red, man, you are out of control. So you're jet-lagged or something yeah. like that. <laughs> That's it. I had a poker player give me his number. Really? Yeah. Did you call him? No. Why not? You he still didn't. have it? Can we call him right now? No, I don't, no. I don't have <laughs> anyway. it. That was many years ago. Did you ever get revenge on that pony? You ever go back up to it and fuck the shit out of it or something like that? <laughs> Mr. Hands. I buy a lot of glue now. Ah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. Fuck yeah. How much glue are we talking about? <laughs> Who has a stickier household? You or I Nikki? <laughs> I, I buy a substantial amount of glue and just pour it. Oh, out. my God. Yeah. Oh, it's clear you're not gluten-free. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> we, are seeing signs, we are seeing possible signs of con- CTE uh, <laughs> shining through <laughs> Jeremiah right now. <laughs> Making a gluten joke. Making a glue. Sigh. <laughs> What's going on? You all right back here? I have to share a hotel room with this guy tonight, and I might have to keep him awake. <laughs> My friend might die. <laughs> well, there's only one. If we really want to keep him awake, then we should let him sleep with Red Pant tonight. <laughs> oh, if he still who, has who, a sense of smell, he won't get a snooze. Who's at the door? Postmated Wendy's again? <laughs> No, this is a Waterburger Postmate city. <laughs> Waterburger? Mm. What's a Waterburger? Waterburger. <laughs> oh. Whoa, mm. Jesus yeah. Christ. The guy that works the fries is mad at me. The, the burgers are world famous here. World famous. <laughs> DoorDash some Sonic and Waterburger some Postmate. Oh. Well, uh, oh, Daniel Gill, anything else crazy we should know about you before I let you go? Uh, no, that should you be You had good. an absolutely great performance here tonight. I'm so Thank impressed you. with the comedians that came up here tonight. <laughs> really, really mind-blowing. Very impressive stuff, everyone. Even all the way, I mean, even Nikki, who's only done it a few times, had some great moments. All the comedians that have been doing it years really shined up here tonight. Texas always, you know... State to state, I would say Texas on Kill Tony wise for some reason has some of the best comedians regularly uh, out of all around the world. It's very impressive. I love Texas. My favorite state. It's incredible. Hook uh, Cowboys. We did it tonight, everybody. How many of you are going to come to the uh, Kill Tony Saturday at 4.30, huh? All right. 
Uh, how about a hand one more time for the great and powerful Jeremiah Watkins, huh? <laughs> Jeremiah has a bunch of merch with him. He's got the brand new, the elusive, you may have heard about it, the Big Gay uh, 2020 <laughs> Kill Tony calendar. Uh, it features the entire band. Um, oh. Really amazing photography. It, make sure you at least, if nothing else, at least like check it out on your way out. Uh, it's a really big deal. I think if you look at it, you'll really like it. Take and, uh, 12 photos of it. Maybe get one. How out. much are those again? They're $30. <laughs> They're still 30 huh? All right. Uh <laughs> They cost a lot of money to print. You have no idea how in the red I am on this. It was not a billionaire's mindset when they were purchased. I can't believe there's still $30. That's incredible. No, I'm First you call my calendars gay. Then you call them overpriced. Then you rally for another guy to come up here and kick me in the head. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dallas. I love you. Oh. I didn't want the guy to kick you in the head. I wanted him to do the triple kick to the water bottle, but that, we didn't end up getting there. You wanted, the, you wanted the pipe and the thing. I didn't want him to kick you in the head. I could kick his... his How many of you think he should try again? <laughs> This time we're gonna. Or this this time let's let Joel do it. He's a little bit shorter. I don't want. He's doing it. He says he's. Doing it. <laughs> I, if this happens again, I'm gonna shit myself. <laughs> Peter Parker. He's doing stretches that only Nikki does right before bedtime. Okay. Ah! We did it! Cool! Jeremiah Watkins. Unbelievable. How loud can this place get for the great Julberg Joel Jimenez, huh? Come on. <laughs> Dallas, we absolutely love you guys. We hope to see you here this weekend. We got four stand-up shows and another Kill Tony. How about a hand for the great Brian Redband, everybody? Hey. Thanks a lot, guys. Oh, yeah, and Ryan J. Ebel made very special for this show specifically. Brand new. I uh, drew Kill Tony posters r representing this exact show on this exact date. So uh, those are available as well after the show. We have some Kill Tony pins, some Tony Hinchcliffe pins, and uh, other fun things for sale as well. Some awesome Jeremiah stuff. And uh, we love you. We'll see you in a bit right out there. We're going to fly through a line all together. We're going to get through it fast. Good night. Chicken, 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 chicken